Yeah, so one of the techniques, uh, if you're going to go Polaroiding carp on the fly, uh, first of all, yeah, a good good set of uh, Polaroid glasses because that's what's going to let you look through the glare on the water and um, you can see into the water. You'll see the fish, they can be cruising. I mean, in this clear water now, you can see fish 20 metres away. Um, so yeah, you're looking for them, you're looking for them feeding and they can rise to the top. So obviously if that's happening, you can fish them dry fly and then other times they'll just be head down and vacuum the bottom and you can see a plume of mud come up. So you'll actually cast in front and strip that fly back and we normally use a bead head fly so it will sink reasonably quick, pull it past their face and they just jump on it straight away, uh, nine times out of ten. Uh, they can be suicidal some days and then other days they can be as wily as the wiliest old brown trout. So, um, but yeah, pick a day, a blue sky day, a little bit of wind, it's not too bad, uh, but Polaroid glasses, that's the, the key ingredient because you've got to see the fish. Um, we're sight fishing, so we're, we're finding the fish, cast to the fish, strip it past them, yeah, and it sh should come up tight. So uh, that's basically all there is to it. So when you're targeting the, the carp, um, using basically trout gear, uh, anything from a six to eight weight rod, floating line, um, six, 10 pound leader. And they seem to eat, you know, woolly bugger streamer style flies like this. But one of the interesting things that's happening with the carp fishing is that some anglers are actually targeting them on dry flies. So the carp are actually coming up and eating the flies off the surface. And uh, from what I understand, I'm no expert on carp fishing, uh, that's a pretty, um, pretty unique thing. So we might get a chance to do that today, you never know. But yeah, the basic technique is you, you walk along, you, you spot the carp, and they're usually swimming around in the shallow water looking for food, and then you make a cast in front of the fish and uh, let the fly sink. And then when the, the carp comes a bit closer, you give it a couple of quick strips or small strips and hopefully Mr. Carp comes over and takes it. And they are a powerful fish. Um, you know, the ones here in this dam are anywhere from three to seven pounds, cruising the shallows. And they'll, they'll get you into the backing. No problems at all, and they fight pretty hard. Um, so, yeah, for an, for an introduced pest species, uh, if you want to get a bit of fishing fun, they're, um, they're a pretty good option, the old carp. Yeah, it is good fun fishing. It's, uh, as I say, it's a shame that they're here because they're destroying our waterways. And as time goes on, they just get progressively worse and worse. Their numbers are increasing, you know, in the hundreds of percent after flood events and that. So, uh, yeah, best thing we can do is fish for them and remove them from the environment. And uh, hopefully one day we will have a control for them and we'll see them disappear from our waters altogether. Mighty mud marlin, not exactly a prestige species, but not too many things pull as hard as these in the fresh water. They're, in Europe and Asia, they're prized sport fish, but here in Australia, they're, they're a pest. You can't blame the fish, but uh, they don't really, they shouldn't be here. So this one's not going back. <laughs>